For the first solving, you want to find a number which is divisible by 3, 5, and 15, a number that all the bottoms go into. In this case, it's 15. It's called the least common multiple. Multiply each term by 15. 15x over 3 plus 15 over 5 equals 6. By multiplying by the least common multiple, we should cancel out and eliminate all of our fractions. 15x over 3 is 5x. 15 divided by 5 is 3 equals 6. Subtract 3 and divide by 5 on both sides to get your answer. On the second example, the least common multiple is going to be x plus 2 times x minus 1. So we're going to multiply the entire problem by x plus 2 times x minus 1. This should eliminate our fractions. Let's see what happens. When I multiply the first thing by this, I'm going to get 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 1 divided by x plus 2. The second one will be 4 times x plus 2 my, times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. The last one will have x plus 2 and x minus 1 on the top, and if we factor the bottom, we should see the bottom factors into x plus 2 and x minus 1. This is pretty slick. Now we can cancel any terms we see on top and bottom. x plus 2, x minus 1, and x plus 2, and x minus 1. Leaving us with 3 times x minus 1 plus 4 times x plus 2 equal to 1. Distribute your 3 through and your 4. Combine your like terms, subtract over your 5, and divide by 7. The third example, we have a fraction equal to a fraction. Because of this, we can cross multiply. So we will multiply the 3 times the 3x plus 1 and the 6 times x plus 1. Distribute your constants through. Then you can combine your like terms by subtracting over the 6x and subtracting over the 3 and divide by 3 to get your answer. Remember, you can only cross multiply when you have a fraction equal to a fraction. Our last example is also a fraction equal to a fraction, so we can cross multiply. 6 times x and x plus 4 times x minus 4. Six x equals x squared plus four x minus four x. These two terms will cancel. Minus sixteen. Subtract over my six x. X squared minus six x minus sixteen. Remember the four x's cancel, and then I can factor to solve. X minus eight. X plus two giving me two solutions of x equals 8 or x equals negative 2.